Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, sweet. Oh, Jesus. Um. I don't need that one drop again. Another druid is probably going to be like Kaz druid or some other shit. So I'd rather look for like a peasant or a iron deep trog. All right, we have Guff and Lady Prester. This is actually more competitive than the uh, Morshan. This is much more disruptive. Oh, never mind. Not when they top deck that. Knowing that if he was going to get that, I should have played the other thing. So draw highest. Draw highest. And then you basically go guff into ramp into Lady Prester now. They can play Nourish. His guff. He's got his guff. So in this situation, I think I'm drawing. I'm going Lady Prester and then draw. The time has come to throw our former master. Show these mortals your true form. No, that's, that's gross. <laughs> This must be the way. Okay, so now we go aquatic, I guess? Or do we just go moonlit? <sighs> we'll see. We also could throw up on board and then just play uh, composite. Okay. I don't have that many spells in the deck, right? I have a lot more than I thought I did. I don't really want to play compositing anymore. Maybe I wasn't supposed to play Malagos. Figured it's good at thinning the deck. Gross. He's gonna deal with most of his whelps. Yeah, unfortunately, aquatic form doesn't give me anything that I really. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh sweet! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh my Lanta! 
Oh, my Lanta's Lanta. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Becky. Oh, baby. Oh, sweet mother. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Does that impress nobody? Post first game transition. If you like the content, you like the channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment and liking on the videos that you do watch. It really helps it out on the YouTube algorithm side and shows the channel to more people so I can keep doing what I do, which is make content for you guys. And if not, that's okay too. to answer for <clears throat> also guys our videos today uh this this looks good uh here, let me psh, psh, i need to add this to new if you haven't already guys uh, new. give these a comment and a like on the youtube it really helps it out our videos really recently haven't really been doing the greatest. Even though I've been putting more time into them. So. If you do enjoy the content, you like being here. I just posted two exclamation point new and exclamation point newest expansion. Those are two of my newest videos. Give a like, give a comment. Really helps it out. And if you really, really want to help me out, keep the video on muted. Like, let the video play and let it stay unmuted so the viewer retention stays up. Viewer retention, very important to the YouTube side of things. Wait, did he just... What did he take? He took my Trog, I don't give a fuck. But if he would have took my Lady Prester, your boy would have been tilted. Alright, um... Let's do this. Because next turn I can go uh, coin, innervate, press, thur. I kind of... I want to kill this off, don't I? And then I want to do the presser thing because I want to turn that into a random dragon with good stats. Because I, I don't want to put it at the bottom and then go this. So I want to put it at the bottom, give it better stats, and then Aquatic Quorum it back it up now that it's a dragon. Dude. People were telling me I should just make a fucking second channel where it's all about spam calls and stuff. But, um, the, what's his name? Kit Boga already does that. A lot of people do that. That's like old memes. So sometimes if I feel like it, we'll, we'll answer the spam calls and we'll reverse spam them. Wow, he hit the trog. Oh, there's the Kaz. Um, it is what it is. Oh. Hello, Caligos. Brand into Caligos? That's a Naga. Okay. Maybe I could have saved that combo for next turn, but I feel like just putting as many pressure, like as many threats on the board as possible is good. It's like, what does he want to kill? Does he want to kill Caligos? Does he want to kill Brand? Does he want to kill the highest attacking minion on the board? So if he doesn't do anything, I play Treasure Guard and then Seaweed Strike for free. And then I play Compose. Light bomb. All right, so he spent the whole turn to clear. That's fine. Oh my.
I'm assuming a lot of these are gonna die, so I'm just like not going to draw. I guess I could have cut semi punished if he plays uh scabs. Contraband? What does he get with this? Light bomb? That's fine. This is why I didn't want to overdraw earlier. So we're gonna overdraw one card. I'm really hoping it's not Guff. Alright, one Drake. We're gonna overdraw another card. <clears throat> the problem is both of my one mana cards in my hand, they draw cards. Okay. Just do this. Play Guff. Guff draws card. And then I guess I just... All of... I don't want to... I mean, I guess I already have Kaz in my hand, right? Like, do I really care? Not really. Dude, these are all so bad. I mean, I guess the Warder, just because they have Rush... Gotta remember we have Morazon, which can make for some very spicy things. We have one dragon until Kaz is done, so we could go like Scalebane, Kaz, and then we could just draw. Glug? See, this is where the Morazon I was speaking of comes into play. So how do I deal with Glug? Because if I go Morazon, I get Glug, but then his he trades into my stuff and his Glug gets big. I guess first things first, I would just Morazon, right? Actually, I could have dealt with his guy. And then I'm probably just going to play Kaz, right? Unless I want to play another Taunt. I should probably just play Kaz. Um, sure. Banana split, Bubba, Anoyo. I'm not a fan of the uh, no mish, but sure. And then book or snake. Let's go book. And then let's trade into here to gain one life. It's fine. So the book can be really good because I can actually kill his Glug and then the Glug would go on my board and then I would get three Glugs and a bunch of Tails. <sighs> Alright, I also need Tunes. Where are my Tunes at? Uh... Here we are. Bro, this thing's huge. All right. I know what I need to win. Get me what I want. So it's... That is not it. Well, that's kind of good enough. As poisonous and lifesteal. So I can play this and then summon two one ones with rushes. And then I can give this card the wind fury and then whatever. And then it trades here and kills it. And this trades here and kills it and heals me. And then it still lives. And then these trade into here. I get some lifesteal bullshit. Then I can do this. I can trade here. It lives at 1 HP. And then I can do this. And this will get attack. And then he still has to swing into there. And it still has lifesteal. And it still has whatever. Okay. We're chilling. And we still have a Noyohone and Holy Book. Which is really good. Because we know he has um, Colossals in his deck. So the Holy Books are really, really good against that. Oh, baby. Give me holy book. Please. Holy book. Banana split. 
How not what I want. It's good enough. I guess you could do a um I guess you could do a 40 HP control rogue, like a super value control rogue. Because you can play like Vanessa, you can do all the things with the deck now. Because you have enough cards. I don't know, maybe that that may, that sounds pretty good. The random rogue, but like now you actually get to play all of the random cards like tests. I don't think you even run Maestra because the chance you get nulls is very low. You get to run like Vanessa, the swashes. You get to run the 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 neutral that puts the shit at the bottom. Bro, can I please? Please, oh please. He just took my holy book, didn't he? Yep. Are you fucking kidding me? You know how tilting that is? That I'm looking for holy book and my opponent just literally takes it from me? I guess I could have played that and it would have done five, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Problem is he's gonna holy book my uh, Psychotron. It's just obnoxious, bro. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Still have another gnomish Bubba. Another bananas. Another bananas. So if I do this for six, all the Bubbas don't even hit that, so it doesn't it's not enough. How many cards do I have? Three. He's still at thirty. I think I actually am gonna have to hit this. And then I hit this. Just do this. Go Bubba. Hit him in the face. The time has come to throw former master. You have no Tess. <laughs> light bomb. I like how it light bombs first, so like dude. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like, it light bombs first, dog. Alright, please. Holy book. Holy book. If my opponent didn't take mine, an army knife? No, no, no. Please. Holy book. Parlay? I know I can get Holy Book, right? Like, this automatically draws Holy Book. Okay. Of course, it was the last card, so swing. Swing. Let's do this. And then I parlay. Oh, I thought I could prep seven tools. Oh, Jesus. Please don't have another thing that kills my board. Oh my god. It's gonna use light bomb again. Uh, 
All right, so how do I get this done, man? All right, so this is the move. Trade, trade. Trade, trade. Bubba. Trade, trade. Gnomish on Bubba. Trade. And then we can even banana. Okay. Okay. So it's trade. Trade. Baba. Trade. Trade. Spoogy Woogies. Giga Spoogy Woogies. Trade. <laughs> Trade. All right. We should win now. No one crosses the uncrossed. So we gave him bananas. That's fine. I don't give a fuck about no nanners. All right, we made it. Woo! We outvalued Tess, Scabs, two counterfeit goods, Phelan, Shadow Step. Oh, look at that.